Hey everybody, good day to you. I just want to make a real quick post regarding the torque Nazi situation. I got a new toy to play with because we're getting real serious now. This is a quarter inch drive, inch pound wrench. So we can achieve a higher level of perfection. And on top of it, I also got a hold of these uh, oil uh, oil filter cutters. They're actually, I think, for, uh, for tailpipes or whatever, or exhaust. But I'm going to use these mofos to cut open some oil filters to see what kind of uh, kind of crusties we can find in there. Remember that blazer that, uh, or the Jimmy that had the clogged cooling system and the sludge in the oil pan? This guy is going to help us dissect that oil filter because I'm curious to see what it contains deep within. So stay tuned. By the way, if you guys didn't see the, uh, the intro video to that series, I'll leave a link down in the description below. All right, let's open this thing up and see what it can do. It cuts open mufflers and tailpipes. I'm pretty sure it can uh, cut open an oil filter. Come here. Cool. Yeah, it's got little, little roller blades on it. <laughs> roller blades. Yeah, it looks like that hooks up. Uh, these links hook up in here somewhere. You can adjust the length of it, and then we'll just run it around the filter until it uh, until it cuts it open. So I got uh, I got the filter. It's this one right here. Just slap it in the vise chop off the top and see what's inside. There we go. Okay. So let's wrap this guy around. That might be too tight there. Okay, let's try this one. kind of wants to smash the filter. I'm going to move this higher up. Let's try it here. There you go. Okay. Ah, there we go. There's a good cut. The thin walls of this oil filter are starting to collapse under the cutting bits as I try to rotate it, and it's it's just puncturing through and making small little holes, and I'm having a real hard time getting this to cut. Yeah, it's just kind of mangling. I'm gonna go back up top. Down there is not gonna work. I don't wanna mangle it, I wanna cut it. Come on. Inserting voiceover to cover up copyrighted material now. But if, if it wants me to escalate and mangle it, I can do that too. You just manually. Yeah, it looks like I etched it enough to weaken it. I'll get in there. Because I need to know what's inside. And you need to know what's inside. I know this looks like a bit of a train wreck. I've never cut open an oil filter before. I've now resorted to brute force to pry the top off of this filter. I'm going to win. Got it. dump this out and see what's inside. Uh, I don't see any chunks. Now let's see. 
if I can get this cartridge out. Might have to keep ripping it open. I smashed it down here. It's probably probably pinching the cartridge. I still can't seem to pull this filter cartridge out, so I'm going to pry away the outside of the canister with some, uh, some flush cuts. I'm very concerned that I might slip and cut the crap out of myself, so I'm trying to take my time and let the tool do the work. I'm just peeling this away a section at a time until I've exposed okay. one side of it. See some, I believe the that the uh, canister will come out once uh, once I get enough of this material removed. Again, I apologize. I've had to mute this section of the audio to cover up background music because YouTube says that that's copyrighted material. Either way, I believe I'm making some progress here. I've got uh, the uh, filter element exposed and I've got a good grip on it with my pliers. So I'm just trying to work it out as best I can to pop this cartridge out. I'm getting a hold of the thin material with my pliers and just twisting them and rolling the material away and that seems to be the most effective method with the least amount of risk. Again, I'm trying not to cut the crap out of myself. Oh, look at that. Look at how thick that is. <laughs> that's what she said. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what was floating around this dude's engine. And you know, we called him back again today, and we're trying to get him to come back to, uh, to do that oil flush on it. He's just not, uh, not even answering the phone. You can see here how all these pleats are just loaded full of engine sludge. I don't even think this filter was flowing. I think it was just bypassing around the filter, which is what allowed for any oil flow to even uh, exist in this engine. I cannot believe how nasty this oil is right here. I mean, look at that. It's coming out like a paste. So this is just a regular filter. Okay, so what I want to do now is take this regular oil filter that came off of a similar vehicle. I think this came off of a 02 Chevy Tahoe. And I want to cut this one open just to compare what the inside of this filter looks like against the inside of the filter that came off of that sludged up Jimmy from last week. and a bunch of movement. Yeah, the last one I was kind of squeezing pretty hard and I think it just took uh, took bites all around it and then it couldn't, couldn't turn. about through I think yeah let's see oh, I think I cut too high up I may have to do that again I managed to cut into and score the edge of this filter canister with that yeah, tool that I bought. It. Maybe I can get it apart. Uh, I found that the Without filter face is riveted on, so I'm going to continue to try to pry this away 
rather than trying to make another cut and possibly crush this, uh, this housing. Copyright warning, inserting random voiceover that doesn't really serve to move the plot line along. No. No, I'm gonna have to make another cut. Oh, score. I think I figured it out. This cartridge is much easier to remove than the first one. I was getting very ahead of myself. I had to re gloved after I lost my first pair. They were getting super sweaty. So, in this known good filter, let's do a side by side. Yeah, it's doing its job, but it's not sludged right up. And, and in the bottom of the canister, dump out this oil. No sludge. It's clean. You can even still see the, uh, the finish on the inside of the can as compared to this monstrosity. Okay, now we know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know a lot of you were curious about uh, about what the inside of that filter was looking like. I know I was, and uh, I'm glad I bought that tool to get that thing apart and opened up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find some similar filters on some similar disaster cases, and we'll do a long-term comparison of those things. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget, have a great day.